Okay, here we go. So this is the tutorial on how to put your images, your PNGs into your cutting preference program, program of preference, whatever, however you want to say it. But you want to make sure you upload this PNGs because it's not going to work in design space, does not recognize PDFs. So I put it in here as a PNG. The most important thing for you to remember is make sure you check your sizes. Let me say that one more time. Make sure you check your sizes because sometimes when you upload it into your cutting program, it comes in bigger or smaller. So let me say one more time. Make sure you check your sizes. So right now I'm unlocking it so I can make sure it's the proper size. So what I'm going to do is just type it in. Make sure you look back at your PDF and make sure it's the right size. So I'm typing in the right size for the bottle labels right now. Making sure that it's the right size. Looking here and looking there, looking everywhere. So we'll make sure we resize it. So you're gonna unlock to resize, okay? So now that it has been resized, what we're going to do now is See there, I unlocked it. Put in the correct size for the bottles. Well, make sure you type that in. I type it in because sometimes it doesn't want to take if you do pass um, two decimal places. So now I only want to cut the bottle, so I'm going to turn off the eyeball on the box label. So you see the little eyeball, you click that and it goes off. Then you go here and I'm still making sure it's the right size. I locked it so when I move it, then you click make it. And now Cricut is so awesome, design space. You can put in how many copies you need. Of course, I got a six pack, so I'm put in six. Now, another thing which is so cool, you can move objects to save paper. Let's save the trees. So you're gonna go to the three little dots right there, and you're gonna click move object, and you're gonna move it to your first page. When it comes in, it's gonna come in on top of the image that you said move. Just move it over, there you go, so now we have three. You can actually fit four on a page. So that means instead of using three sheets of paper, we only have to use two. Isn't that great? That's one tree we saved. So you move it. Like I said, it usually populates on, on top of another PNG. You see, I'm trying to find it. Found it, bingo. Move it over. There we go. Four on one page. So now we're using two sheets of paper for six bottles. You're gonna put it on your white glossy sticker paper. It's waterproof so you can keep the beers cold for dad, uncle, brother, whomever you choose to give this gift to. So we're gonna click continue. Make sure everything's straight, nothing's overlapping. Usually on design space it shows red if it is. You're gonna send to your printer. I turn off the bleed because if you've calibrated your machine properly, it should cut right on the dot. Let's go into my printer and then you're going to choose uh, the paper, the printable sticker paper. Then it's going to go to the printer. Then you follow your same steps for... Um, design space or if you use silhouette or sawgrass however whatever your cutting directions are within your program but i'm also going to show you how to go back and turn off the eyeball for the bottles turn on the eyeball for the box that way you can print that you're going to have to print two of those i tried to fit two on a page but it just overlapped and it just cut off one of them so let's not try to do that we're just gonna use two sheets of paper Two sheets of sticker paper. You're going to buy a pack anyways. So I turned the eyeball on for the box and I turned off the eyeball for the bottles. Now I'm doing the same thing that I did with the bottles. I'm making sure that the size is correct. I go and I unlock it. I type in the height and the width in inches. That's also included in your PDF what size it needs to be. So now that you have that in inches... There we go, and then you change that, and then you're going to go back to make it. And we're gonna do another print and cut. Again, it is very important that you check your size. I know I keep saying that, and I know you know you're like, why does she keep saying that? Because I have wasted several sheets of sticker paper, and I don't like wasting paper. So here we are, we have two. Put it in the program, you hit go, continue, you send it to your printer 
it's gonna print it out then you cut it on your cutting machine like you usually do and then you are done labels are ready to be cut on your cutting machine or if you prefer as therapy or as soothing stress reliever to cut with your hands go ahead I'm not to get a cutting so that's why I didn't do it that way I used the cutting machine Peace, love, hair grease. Hope you enjoy this label. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to thepartyfficial at gmail.com. Or you can also hit us up at help at thepartyfficial.info. So that's it for the tutorial. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Here is the best part. Assembly time. All right, here are the labels already cut off. You're going to peel back. I love my nails, y'all. I'm not getting rid of my craft with nails. Baby, I can't craft without them. But here we go. I have a little cup holder my business partner bought me from Timu. Oh, Timu, y'all. Addicted. Um, be careful when you're laying it down. I like to start on the middle and smooth out my sides. But see how I noticed that it was a little crooked? So just because I put it down side, each side at a time, so it doesn't stick all the way down just in case I have to move. Because we're humans. We're not perfect. So as you see, I'm lining up the text on the regular yeah, Modelo bottle the with the text of my labels that we made for the Modelo bottle. Smooth them down. I take my little squeegee tool and that, the soft side and I make sure it's pushed all the way down. And voila, your customized Modelo. Yes, was the greatest girl dad, Paul. All right, now I'm gonna do the box. So you're gonna flatten your box out. Make sure it's as flat as you possibly can get it because that's gonna help you with your leverage. Press it down, press it down, shake it together. All right, peel back from the corner. And then you're gonna do the same, line it up. Make sure it's lined properly. I'm trying to make sure y'all guys can still see. We took the model away, but if we see, yeah, make sure you line it up. Line it up and then you smooth from side to side. As you can see, that's what I'm gonna do. From one side to the other side. Smooth it out. Poom pa ping. Make sure it's flat all the way down on the box. And it's party time, party official. All right, there we go. You got your custom bottle and your custom box.